Yeah, thanks you? for having me, guys. Yeah, I can hear you. Everything oh, is good. Awesome, awesome, man. Thank you for your thank you for your time, brother. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate your being on Zanzi MMA. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been man. a while. Since <laughs> let me let me let me officially uh welcome you sir mr ibiwi mpatiswa a south african mma up-and-coming athlete amateur up-and-coming athlete um heading to the world championships welcome to iol sport and mzanzi MMA. thank you for your time sir um yeah we're yeah. gonna chat a little bit about, to you about your background um where you at where you training um and your thoughts on the world champs and just touch on um a few a few things here and there about your personal life also that's cool um if you were to tell us um how, how's your day been so far uh my day has been cool um yeah I woke up in the morning um did my morning session with coach and my teammates and all that and i went to work you know preparing preparing for the day and then after that went to the session night session uh with the guys uh practice kickboxing today was but it was really really fun you know touching up and stuff fixing up some um some basic movements you know we have to start from A and heading to Z, you know what I'm saying? Um, preparing for those guys overseas that we know what they're going to do, you know. Um, we have a perfect plan for them, you know. So I'm prepared for anyone, anyone that you're going to put me against with. And I'm in the proper right mindset now. So, yeah, everything is moving well. So, yeah, my day has been going for, um, going, doing well. Cool. Tell me something. Um, exactly. Um, how old are you and, and, and where, where are you from and where are you based right now? Your gym, your home base gym. So um, I'm 22 years old, yeah. So I started mixed martial arts back in Cape Town. I used to stay back there in Kells River. Okay. Uh, I used to train at Labs MMA. At Labs MMA. So I used to travel every time there from Belleville to Kells River every time. So, yeah. And I used to go you, to So you're actually at, close at to me. Years. You're actually close to me. Yeah. You, I, yeah. I remember last time I messaged you, you said you were, you live by. I don't know where you live. No, by. I'm in North, I'm in North Kelsey. Pine. I'm close to Kells River. Oh, you closed there. Why didn't you say a shout out back then? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know you were. You, you were but anyway, now I know if you come back, now we know you can we can hook up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sorry, so, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry uh, to bother you, you. Yeah, you were saying so. Where you at now? So I used to I used to go to school at Hot Years back, uh, back then. And then, you know, I enjoyed the sport so much, man. Um, then I decided to move uh, here in Joburg with Coach Duane. Doing Meredith, so yeah. so that I can do a little bit touch ups on my wrestling. So I used to struggle a lot with wrestling, you know, and I used to fight at the wrong weight, you know. I used to fight at seventy seven at water weight at the water weight division, and so yeah. When I, I took the sport seriously, that I wanna I wanna compete overseas, and I started having a conversation with Coach Duane, and he told me that um, it's MMA, it's not just um kickboxing. So my background is a uh, I'm a kickboxer. You know, I'm a kickboxer and I'm a brown belt in kickboxing under Zig Norris. Um, so we touching up with wrestling. I came over this side, so I move over here in Joburg to stay here so I can focus more and pursue my dream in MMA to become a champion overseas. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Tell you said you, you started in kickboxing. That was your basis. Um, did, did, was, did anybody inspire you? Your dad, your brothers, cousins? Family? How did you get into kickboxing first? It was my my my, my high school teacher. Oh. It was my high school teachers. So I remember one time I was in grade nine. So they announced uh, in assembly they announced this. Uh, this they're gonna be handling MMA mixed martial arts um, after school, and I was like, okay, I want to check it out. So it was my technology teacher. So that was Mr. Mr. Ong Tong, Mr. Valentine. And Mr. Christian. So those are those are the guys that they inspired me. They showed me how the sport, how everything flows. Ever since when I ever since, since I went to the session, I got addicted to MMA, you know. So they inspired me to push more further. So when I was done with school, I had to carry on and I couldn't I couldn't stop the passion, you know what I'm saying? So I then then I went to Reps MMA after oh, that. Okay. So I got inspired from them. Got inspired from them. Then I started watching these videos, UFC and all that. I was like, yay, I need to try this. <laughs> I need to try this. I need to do this. And it became something that I really, really quite enjoy. And I have big dreams. I have big plans for it, you know? Nice. Nice. Thanks. Um, and tell me, um, plans if you, were, what do you, you said you, you, were, you went to work. If you don't mind sharing, what so, yeah. are you working? Um, are another you thing working is um, um, we're pushing, um, pushing funds. Sorry? Sorry? 
Yeah, I want to know, are you, you work, are you working and studying? Are you just working? What do you, you don't mind? Saying, what, what do you do? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay, I want to just know, so uh, what exactly do you do uh, work-wise, if, if I may ask? So work-wise, this side, so I'm doing a learnership this side. So yeah, okay. it's um getting me and helping me to get along with customers and clients. Um, how to communicate with different types of people and all that. So it's a cool and it's in the hardware store. So whenever people need some stuff, you know, um, building stuff, materials, I have to explain first before I give them the products and oh, all okay. that. So yeah, I'm learning that this kind of things. So, yeah. Okay, cool. And 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 um, so your hours. You 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 fine with? I mean, how you mixing up your your training hours and your work hours? And you you managing that fine? So yeah, at the first time it was it was it was a little bit hard because I was kind of new to it, you know. Because I have to wake up like at six o'clock. We have that um sessions of from five to six and six to seven in the morning. And then after that, and then my when I start um, my work when I stop my work, I have to be there at like seven forty five and until five o'clock and then the first session that i hit it starts at six until eight o'clock so yeah so i had to mix it up so it's an everyday thing so mm -hmm. ever since i moved to the side i moved uh i moved to the side of february ever since then it's, it's just been like that just hard work you know what i'm saying no rest just pushing even on saturdays i'll push now and then if i can take a light jog but um so far now i got used to it you know it's not it's not tiring anymore so yeah because it's understandable if i want to and then, you know if i want to be the best yeah because i'm going to these events i'm checking out these guys they're fighting so if i want to be the best i have to push the hours you know i have um, to push the hours yes exactly exactly and tell me i'm just speaking on that pushing the so hour, it, it makes a lot of time. yeah you were saying yeah like uh pushing these hours helps a lot because uh, i was saying like like if i push these hours yeah it's very very perfect because I can see the difference from what I was last year, and if I check myself this year, the, the stuff that I, I did, I even got in a belt, an amateur amateur title belt. That's what I, one of been one of my dreams. This year I did a lot of better, a lot of better. I mean nationals in KZN, I did a lot better. Um, I fought against tough tough opponents, you know, and I lost to a, a tough opponent, you know. At least I got like a, a second best. But next year we push it for that goal, you know. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This hours helps me a lot. Awesome, awesome stuff. And just tell us what exactly are your goals for 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 your MMA career? Um, what is it that you would like to achieve, or what would you feel happy or the pinnacle of your career? Um, is it EFC? Do you want to go higher? Um, you want to go uh, fight internationally? What is actually easy viewing Patiswa's goals for combat sport? So for now, like uh, I would like to experience amateur again until until march you know um, until march or june and then or obviously obviously we have to start at efc you know obviously you have to get that experience over here this side because it's very competitive because all the guys here this side they're very hungry everyone wants to go overseas you know what i'm saying so i think i have to start here and versus also is coming up you know we have to start there also i mean i will enjoy the experience but for now i'm just going to listen to my coach and see what he says um because we have to take it step by step because he has a, a lot of experience. So I can't just say I want to do this because I, I want to do it because I'm going to get excited and I, I make a mistake then I fall down because you need that type of person who's going to be straightforward to you, give you proper advice, how we're going to flow. But my, my dreams is to fight over here and then go overseas and take over there. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, I, you spoke about you, the first belt that you got. That was at, at the Bare Bones event, eh? If you wait, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can. Um, I wanted to know the 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 first belt you spoke of. That was at Bare Bones MMA, right? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Either the first event you you the belt you got that was a Bare Bones MMA championship, right? Yeah. Okay. And and just um um obviously you you're not gonna be here this weekend is now part two. Um would would you have liked to come down and just be there as um as as obviously a champion of the, the inaugural event? Uh what happened is um yeah, I, I won the belt and then 
um, we got the news that we're gonna represent South Africa overseas. So I could I, I couldn't I couldn't take the fight. Uh, mm. Obviously, we did accept the fight because I didn't know that I was gonna get this opportunity to represent SA overseas. Mm. So what happened is now my opponent was busy preparing. And now the SA coach told me that um, I can't compete because we have to save ourselves. We can't take damage before mm. we go to, to um, world championships. Yeah. So unfortunately, uh, the bare bones, I had to take the title back and then the guys can fight for the mm. title. And then if I come back, I can get my, my uh, a title fight again, you know? Sure. So um, here's what it is. But I mean, I'll be back. I'll be back. I mean... They gave it to two guys, um, one from Fighters Inc. and the other guy from Knockout Center. So I'm going to wish them good luck. Uh, as soon as I come back, I'm going to take what's mine. That's my belt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I think the one is, is the one guy Sunday, right? Eh? Is it Sunday? Yeah. Sunday fighting for your belt, I believe, from Fighters Inc., if not mistaken. I don't know, I might be wrong. Yeah, 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 I saw that. And yeah, then I saw that, I saw that. Just tell us, so, yeah. you, you gave them a nice but, uh, It's not something that, um, mm -hmm. it's not something that, there's no, there's no pressure on that, you know what I'm saying? There's no pressure because um, they can take the belt and keep it, but they're not going to keep it for long, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to take it back because mm -hmm. it's mine, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. <laughs> it's I mine. Understand. It's my belt because, yeah, I push really, really hard for it. So, um, type of situation like this, um, we have to sacrifice sometimes. I was like, okay, I'll... I would like to get the experience overseas now, you know, so that mm. I can get a, a better understanding what's going on. Mm. Okay, how's the vibe overseas? You know, how do guys prepare for a fight? You know, I know a lot of guys, uh, they have a lot of amateur fights. You know, I, I myself, I'm building a lot as much as I can because I want to abuse it now because I'm still young. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So uh, those are the type of things I, I would like to experience. Cool. I saw you posted recently about the news that you got to confirm you're gonna be going to Uzbekistan. Um, what? How exactly did that happen? That that you found out you're gonna actually go. Can you just tell us the process or the? the so what, what happened is, um, uh, one of the, uh, one of the guys that's been posting this on my um, Instagram and Facebook, you know. Posting about, about this, that I'm going to hit there. I need sponsorship and it helps, you know, uh, uh, all the help that I can get, you know. So, and my coach told me that uh, one of the uh, reporters in Rudaport Records, they want to interview me and get to know my story. Then they're going to post it out. I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm interested in that. So, yeah, uh, this lady, I uh, forgot her name, though. I think it was like Nkosi, Nkosi App or something like that. She came through and took, so, took um, some pictures of us me and the team and then asked me a few questions how we started this and then yeah and then it just got posted on uh, next week on the newspaper then everyone who started looking at me was like yeah is this you we didn't know you were a fighter you don't look like a fighter stuff like that you know what i'm saying so it was a really cool experience okay cool lovely i mean really i'm, I'm cool sure i'm sure it made you feel quite excited and some something something awesome to feel at that moment eh? yeah it's very 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 cool yeah it's it's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling. Like it, it's going exactly how I how I planned it in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I always when I was back in Cape Town, I always thought like, okay, when I started MMA, I saw the videos and stuff. Like I, I wanted to check out like the guys here in South Africa, how many people that are pushing this sport. Because back then, MMA wasn't like something huge. A lot of people doing. You know, what I'm saying? you get a lot of people do it, but when you find out, okay, this guy's just doing run base like. Doing karate, judo, that was the, like the most popular one. But to mix it all up, you know what I'm saying? And then I started checking out these videos like, like Alpha MMA. I saw the nationals going on there. I was like, one day I need to compete in that, you know? And then I asked my coaches at, at Revs MMA, I asked them, am I good enough to compete over there? They were like, yeah, why not? And I check out this EMAF. I was like, one day I need to wear one of those uniforms one day. Because mm -hmm. the way I'm pushing, I see myself doing it. And it happened. Um, like representing SA in Namibia, you know. Mm -hmm. That was cool. When I went to war at um, RTX, I was like, yay, I made it. 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 It's going how I planned. And then when I got the news that I could go overseas, that I'm going overseas, I was like, whoa, okay, this is happening exactly the way I wanted it to go, you know. Not rushing for pro, but to experience that um, international experience. 
while well, I'm still an amateur, you know, that's really cool. That's what I, that's how I've been dreaming about it. And it really comes through. Now, everything's moving accordingly, the way we plan, the way I plan it in my mind, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's really cool. Something special. Tell me something, you, you. Um, something special, yeah. You, you. Yeah, I can, I can imagine, brother. I can imagine. Um, at the, at the, at the, 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 the Africa champs, uh, I think you didn't necessarily go your way. Is there something like a, a redemption opportunity yeah. now for you to, to improve, show your, your, your improvements and do it on a bigger stage? Because I think it was, um, um, was it the guy now again? Um, the guy from Zambia. Um, from Zambia, uh, Killian Lungo, I think. Yeah. How uh, was was that? Is there something yeah, that you want to yeah, fix? Yeah, yeah. Want to fix now, considering that things didn't necessarily go your way uh, in Ventuk? Yeah. So in that fight, um, uh, we we the game plan was like, okay, we don't want to take damage on the first day, you know. So we trying to when he's uh, we know we knew that that guy was gonna push the wrestling against me because when I fought there in Zambia, I, I had no wrestling at all. So he pushed the wrestling. I reversed him. When I took him down, I saw that I, I wasn't doing much damage, you know. I was just holding him, you know. I was I was supposed to apply knees, you know, small punches there and there. So, but I, I was controlling him every time. And then in the third round, when I shot for a double leg, and then he flipped me over, it was in my those flurry of those those punches that he got there. But I stood up again, and then I reversed the position, you know. I would keep working for the for the takedown, keep on punching him using the knees. I thought I was gonna get it, but when I watched the video again, okay, I didn't work enough. I didn't work enough. So that fight boosted my performance a lot, you know. So that when I get a fight now, I need to work. I need to work. I need to spark. So going to world championships, I, I think it's that enough. Uh, we pushed the wrestling way enough, and I feel like I'm a wrestler. I'm not a kickboxer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I feel like going to world championships. I'm completed now. If they want to wrestle, we can wrestle. If they want to strike, we can strike. You know, because I feel like I'm gonna, with my striking, I'm going to force them to wrestle, but it's going to be a tough time for them because um, I'm working with Coach Dwayne and my, my teammates. Are we strong over there? Team Pandemonium. Are we strong over there? Nice. That's nice to have. That's, that's something that I would like to encourage all our up and coming athletes. Uh, to your wrestling base is the most is, is cr critical to, to, to your, your foundation. To having a good wrestling base, um, especially when you go fight against the, the the Europeans and the Russians and stuff. I mean, that is it's like bread and butter. You can always bowl from there, man, because that's that that is where they attack also the most. Yeah. So when, when, when your confidence is high with your wrestling, it just it allows you to express yourself more with with your natural kickboxing and everything else. Yeah, because now I can see now I'm so confident now. If if the fight goes down now, the striking can flow now. I yes. can do whatever. So I can even strike, take a lot of this, like do a lot of kicks if you can. If the guy catches it, okay, he's going to take me down. We stay composed, you know. Listen to your coaches when they shout instructions. Get that under hook and stand up. That's all you need, you know. And then we take it back where I'm good at, at the striking game, you know. Awesome. So wrestling is really important for MMA players. Um, without wrestling, it's tough. It's tough out there. Because mm. God's going to take you down and hit you up at the end and start grounding down at you. And the referee is going to stop the fight. <laughs> That's how it is. Uh, if you want to know, um, you spoke about <laughs> the build-up to the world champs and everything. Um, are, are you... I, I spoke to your your, your colleague also, um, Kiara Fegan. She told me about issues she's having regarding funds. Are you... How is your funds looking? Or how far are you along with your bill? Getting your funds? I believe it's like 52,000 rand. Are you on track? Are you sorted out? Are, are you still looking for sponsors? At the moment, I'm still looking for sponsors for now, you know? I'm still looking for sponsors. Um, I've been doing a lot of shout-outs to people, you know, people that, that um, are willing to help. I've been posting a lot. A lot of people have been helping me out. At the moment, a lot of people have been promised me, um, like, end of the month. Uh, me telling me what they'll see what they will do you know um also my side i'm trying the best i can you know uh, my teammates are also helping me out they've been posting on the um, social medias so i'm looking for a sponsor anyone who's willing who's willing uh, not just for me um also in the guys in the teams they also need the help just to get over their side and represent the country you know because uh we're not doing this for us we're just doing this for everyone again in south africa like if you have a dream and you want to go overseas, it can happen. 
the only the only way we can it can happen by standing together you know as South Africans we have to show that love now new age you know what I'm saying so we need to represent we need to show them okay if we are capable of doing this sport you know the sport is going to grow it's going to take over South Africa soon soon mm, I agree with that sir and just tell us uh, if you what in what division are you um competing just to confirm again at, at the world I'll be fighting at uh, featherweight 65 kg 65.8 kgs yeah that's featherweight yeah okay cool thank you noted featherweight um just uh, yeah. we, we we just as, as we wrap things up um who is your favorite fighter and who inspires you the most first your favorite fighter and then who inspires you uh, the, the inspiration doesn't have to be my a favorite fighter, fighter at the moment yeah, yeah. my favorite fighter has to be uh at the moment it has to be uh Mark Ewen from Scotland he trains at um higher level MMA okay um he has for he has for like he has for yeah, the EFC um for the Bellator now if I say uh, at PFL now so okay. he's one of the guys um my favorite fighter at the moment the guy who inspired me um it has to be Conor McGregor <laughs> Conor McGregor is the reason why I'm doing this sport you know okay. not the the best out of the sport not the talking side but just the way he flows the way he fights yeah. you know the uh, understanding the distance you know uh, that inspired me the most cool cool that inspired um, me the most and then just just one last thing um if you were um a message for your fans your your supporters your family members um anybody who's been backing you since the day you started and uh, and following your journey and backing you just a message for it can be your parents siblings anybody Did, did you get that? Can you can you can you hear me? Yes. Did you get that question? No. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, I wanted to just ask you any any message for your fans, your supporters, your your siblings, everybody who's been supporting you since day one. You can ask me what. Uh, do you have a message for your can, fans? Can you repeat again? Because I can't. Hear. Okay, the network's probably okay. Bad. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. So the message that I'll give to my fans, I'll, be, I'll say, hey, um, keep on pushing. Um, every day, wake up. You know what I'm saying? Wake up five o'clock in the morning. Start your day with the jog, and think. Just think about your day. Um, everyone that you love, just make sure you mention that person or tell them, hey, keep pushing. Keep pushing 100% every day. Hard work never betrays, you know what I'm saying? Keep mm. pushing every day. Never stop. Amen, amen. That's how we approach our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. And if you will, one last thing before you go, can you just say, say your, uh, introduce yourself and then say, hi guys, this is Ivi Mafatiswa and uh, you're watching Mzanze MMA. Just just to end it. Just uh, basically an uh, uh, intro. Intro, okay. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, what's up, guys? So, boy, if you and Patisa, the South South Ninja, and you are live, yeah, Mzanti MMA, guys. Make sure you tune in every time. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Make sure you follow them on Facebook, on Instagram, baby. Mzanti MMA, if you and Patisa, the South South. Yo, brilliant, brilliant. Now you're going to go far, bro. <laughs> that, that promo, you're going to go, you're going to eat paper <laughs> one time. If you were, thank you so thank much you. for your time, brother. I wish you all the best. I will, <laughs> video. I'll try to get sponsors for you also. And all the best with your journey, brother. We're behind you 100%. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate this. Um, it's been a while, man. I've been wanting to be in Zanzi May, man. It's been a while. Don't worry. Been a while. There'll, there'll, but, be um, more, there'll be more interviews. Don't much. worry. <laughs> I'll get you more interviews. I, when we get to the airport, I'll, I'll, I'll do an interview for you, and then I'll send it over to you. Awesome. You know I love it. I love it. Have a good night if you may have a rest well and then uh, back in the tray in, in the gym tomorrow again. Peace out, bro. Yeah, I have, to. I have to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a nice one. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Julian. I really do appreciate it. You, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers. Good night. Thank you. Good night.